Hey everyone, Tyson the Super Specialist from Super Prince George here. Today we're taking a look at our first 2023 Subaru Impreza hatchback sport. So for the 2023 model year, most of the Impreza remains unchanged from the 22, other than they've eliminated the sedan. So you can't get a new sedan Impreza anymore, just the hatchback. This is the sapphire blue pearl that was new last year. Now, the Sport is the first trim level in the Impreza lineup to get the LED fog lights. We've got LED, or, sorry, LED headlights. First to get LED headlights. Even the Touring has LED fog lights. <laughs> they're steering responsive. They're absolutely amazing at night. You do get some new wheels on the Sport this year. Slightly different from the 2022 model year. The overall body is pretty much the same as the previous. Very functional. Now this Sport happens to have the eyesight, so it's an automatic. In the rear bumper with the eyesight, you do get those backup sensors. They'll apply the brakes in reverse if it thinks you're gonna hit something between speeds of one and 15 kilometers an hour. Great for parking lots. Very practical opening in the hatch, tall, wide, and deep. You've got a privacy cover that hides everything from the top of the seats down. It is easy to unhook and just have sit there and you can see exactly how much space you have you do get a nice little halogen cargo light, illuminates the cargo area when it's dark out and the hatch is open. You can turn it off if you don't like it. Grocery bag hooks on either side. You can also tie those into the cargo net system that also utilizes the bottom ones there. You have some nice hard physical tie downs in the rear two corners if you've got something heavy and awkward you need to secure. And in the event you need more storage, these seats do fold down. Not quite flat. There's a little bit of a hump here, but virtually flat. Now this is a telescopic piece. I just grab and pull and you can remove the, it from the other side. Really easy to do if you need that. And you can fit quite a bit of stuff in here. I've seen people move table and chair sets with their Imprezas. If you're gonna be putting anything on the roof, we do have these little doors. They're easier to flip up with a flathead screwdriver and the crossbars actually bolt in to the roof rail. Very, very secure. Subaru accessory, it was well thought out. In the second row, good headroom, good legroom. You can fit three people across. If there's only one or two, you do get a fold down armrest with two cup holders. Good room, me sitting at 6'2", I do fit in the back. If there was three of me, it'd probably be a little squished. Bottle holders in each door. And then we do have the all important child lock for all you parents, grandparents out there, or those of you who wanna keep your inebriated friends from escaping. But down is locked, up is regular and active. Sport is also the first trim level with the tilt and slide sunroof. And you do get the proximity key with this. So to lock it, key just has to be within 46 inches, touch the lines, and it locks. Wait a second, put your hand in the handle, and it unlocks. Really easy to use. Up front, power windows, locks, and mirrors, along with a bottle holder for the driver and front passenger. We do have a power driver seat, and again, this is a first for the sport, you don't get it below that. Good driver, headroom, and legroom. The fuel door release is down here. It's one of the few Subaru vehicles where that is still the case. By the driver's left knee, we have the ability to turn off the steering responsive headlights. You've got the brightness scroll wheel for your gauges. You can turn off uh, blind spot detection if you don't want it on for some reason, and cross traffic alert, and that's your traction control. So speaking of blind spot, we've got these little black screens on both of the mirrors and they illuminate like so when someone's in your blind spot on the corresponding side. Low fuel level, because this one just came in for PDI, it's not even 100% through PDI yet. Steering wheel, this is both tilt and telescopic, so you can adjust it for drivers of varying arm lengths and seating positions. Left hand side, we have our Bluetooth and audio controls. You can make and take calls, control the volume of the calls and the music. These arrows right here in the set one, they play with this small middle screen. It gives you a bunch of different information. Most people like the digital speedometer the most. Right hand side, we have our adaptive cruise and our lane centering or lane keep assist. Both of those systems use the two color stereo eyesight cameras that Subaru has, the eyesight safety system. They win awards for it every year. It's an amazing system if you have a chance to get it in a vehicle with it and have someone demo it for you, it's unreal. Now, when you turn on the cruise, you can see there's an image of the Impreza and one to four bars. That's the follow distance behind the vehicle ahead of you that you'll follow at if you catch up while using cruise. 
great feature, best thing ever for a long distance trip. We do also have lane keep assist, so when you turn that on, the two cameras, again there and there, are looking for road lines. And whichever side it can see, those gray lights will illuminate white, or gray lines, sorry, will illuminate white on either side, and it'll give you gentle steering input to keep you in the middle of the lane. We've got heated steering wheel, so it doesn't heat the top, just kind of where you're supposed to keep your hands safety first. That's cold, this is getting nice and toasty. Up top here, little information screen that you can change with the info button on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. Every time you press it, it goes to a different screen. Date, time, what safety tech's on. I like the water temp, oil temp one myself. It's also where climate control displays, so it ranges from 32 on the high side all the way down to 18. With it being a little chillier out at 6 degrees Celsius, I'm going to turn that back up to warm. Below that, we have our eight inch touchscreen infotainment. We do also have the physical buttons below. Got access to the My Subaru app, which you get a three year trial to with most new Subarus. Download the My Subaru app and you can use it to remote start your vehicle in most cases. You do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Put it in reverse and the backup camera pops up. Shows you the top of the bumper so you have something to relate to. We have rear assist braking and parking sensor. So if it thinks we're gonna hit something faster than one kilometer an hour in reverse, but less than 15, it hammers the brakes. Absolutely terrifying. Again, if you go to a dealership and you're curious about it, ask for a demo. They'll probably set up a pylon. It's actually scary. We do have a CD player. Lots of people don't notice that. It is kind of hidden well. Below that, climate controls, temperature, fan strength, mode changes where the airflow is coming from. Every time you adjust that dial, it changes where the airflow is being directed. Below that, storage cubby with two USB ports, an aux port and a 12 volt outlet. Now, these two USBs, they'll do your wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as charge and allow you to listen to music through the USB. Automatic transmission. You do have a manual drive mode where if you wanna select your own gears, you can. Those paddles to do that, upshift, downshift, works really, really well. I like the downshifting for going down large hills. We do have heated seats high and low for both the driver and passenger, and with it being cloth, they heat up very, very quickly. And it is a nice textured cloth. Very, very comfortable. Seems to be durable so far. I've had no complaints about durability from any of my customers about that. And then up top here, we do have our lane sway where it'll beep at you if you start changing lanes without signaling, crossing lines, automatic emergency braking, which actually saves you 10% on your basic insurance here in here in BC. I can't really think of a situation where you'd want to turn it off, but you do have that option. We do have the SOS and roadside assistance buttons. That's part of the three-year trial to the connected services that I mentioned previously. We've got our sunroof controls and our map lights. And this shade is just a manual shade for the sunroof. So that is a quick look at the 2023 Subaru Impreza Sport hatchback. If you guys have any questions about that Impreza, any of the tech you saw in it, or any questions about anything in the Subaru lineup, please put them in the comments below. I am always looking to answer your questions and make you new video content if there's something that I may have missed or something you're wondering on how to do. Talk to you guys soon.